Hello there, this is Sandy, and I'm back in my craft room playing around with a machine embroidery item called the Brother Skitch. I put a video out there the other day, earlier this week, about how I had purchased the, the machine, and I was doing some comparisons to the stitch out on this Brother Skitch versus my uh, Baby Lock machine. And then I posted that, and then there were more questions, so I thought I'd just make a, a couple of videos just to share what I've learned and give feedback to those questions that I was given. So the first test that I'm doing is, actually, it's not a test. It's one of the questions I had, and it was, you know, how do you get into the app and move maneuver around, and is Word Spear the only... A way to use the embroidery machine and yes that's what I found so I've installed it on both my phone and my tablet here just so I could experiment and film at the same time and as you can see I've opened it up already and uh, so this video is just going to be about how I am going to prepare for my next my next tech test on the brother sketch this is going to be how I'm going to create a design and get it ready to transfer to the uh, the sketch. And, and then the next video will be me working on this um, piece, but using a different thread because I had used Floriani thread in my previous video. And there were questions about whether or not you could use different kinds of threads and if one's better than the other. And of course, I can't answer all those questions, but I did have some older thread by Sulky that I thought I could try. So this first part's just going to be about getting into the app and using it to set up the design. So I just thought I'd go over that really quick. Um, so I yeah, opened it Art Spira. And then I'm going to pick embroidery designs right here and I'm going to use the search because I know what I'm looking for and I'm going to type in Santa and then the search button and then I'm going to filter over here and I'm going to take um, deselect these top two items and just ask for free I'm going to pick this first one called Santa Claus because I'm going to be comparing this stitch out to the one I did prior of the same design that's free in the Art Spira app with the um, Sulky Thread versus Floriani. So I'm going to pick that one. And then I'm going to press Create. And you can see on the next screen, this is where you can add things to it. So I'm going to press text. You can. This is where you can add a different design or another design. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to press T for text. I'm going to type in Merry Christmas. And I'm not going to change the font because, whoops, because um, I know you can do that here, but I did it once or twice and the fonts that I picked were not free in the app. So that'll be up to you to figure out. I'm going to press done because I'm done typing. And you can see it puts it in the middle. I think sometimes you can't move it unless you press that button. You know how it was uh, double. If you double, I think if you do this and then there's kind of a delay. Um, it will change to like the dashed line, which I think means you're in the edit mode. And then once you're done with that, see how it changed to the dashed line? I'm moving it down. And it's way too big. So this is where you can play around. And I'm going to squeeze it. And if you want, you can angle it. That's not what I want to do. And this is where I thought it was kind of like hard for me to get it just right. But I think I did it. Yeah, it's a little bit, you can see at the bottom, it's a little bit off. I, I, I did not see a screen where you could, like, just move it up or down with buttons. 
as far as the text goes it could be with there there's the font button i was talking about where you could change fonts but like i said i tried a couple and they were not free i can do edit here if i want and edit this if i want to go back into the santa i can press that and the santa box will come up i can change the size if i want to here I'm just going to use my finger and move it up a little bit. And then if I want to check, change that, I'd press that and it'll, as I can see, it's a little bit tilted. So I'm going to try and get it a little better there. That's a little better. Now let's see how that looks. Is it even? Uh, let's see here. It's a little bit over. Well, so now that's way over. Well, you just play around with it till you get it about where you want it you can change thread colors i believe here let's see i don't want to change this one there's the check mark to close that screen i'm going to press the the this merry christmas and that'll come up i don't want it to be black because i know in this design the last color to stitch out is black my t-shirt that i picked is black so I'm gonna tell it I want it to be let's see what do I want it to be maybe I want it to be red there so I, pr I picked red and then I'm pressing the check button and now I'm all done making the changes you can do reverse changes if you don't like the change you made I'm gonna press ok and that looks okay to me so I'm gonna press done now it says do you want to save it and actually i'm going to say cancel because um this is good this is good because i noticed it still looks like it's a little bit over to the left so i'm going to press actually i'm going to go back done i'm going to press the words again and i'm just going to move it a little bit over there now I go on that box. Does that look okay? That's a little bit over too. Now on my machine, you know, there's a center button. I can see there's a move button here. 90 degrees, 10%, 1%. That's rotate. So that's really cool. Up and down, you can move it. So here we go. Here's the buttons that I was saying are on my machine. So I can press down, and because the blue box is highlighted, that's the thing that's moving. If I want the other one to move, I would imagine you just press on it. Maybe, no, you probably have to go back to the other screen. Um, so you can go up or down or left or right, and then you could flip it horizontal. So this is where you're changing the direction of how this design will stitch out. And I don't want to flip it. I think I want to just move it to the left a little bit. And I can see the whole thing moving, and I really like the fact that these buttons are here. So, you can press reset to center if you want, but I'm good. So, I'm going to press this little check mark. And then I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to press um, save, because I like this. And I'm going to say it's a Santa with... Merry Christmas. I'll just put MC and save. Storing data on the server. Please wait. If I wanted to cancel, I could. It does take a little bit to store on the server. So there we go. There's that. I'm going to press done. Okay, now I'm over at the sketch and I have to transfer that design from my app on my tablet to the Brother Sketch. And so the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the machine. And then I will open the app, Art Spira. Sorry if there's glare on there. That Maybe that's better. might be taking a little longer to open because I'm charging my tablet to 
Okay, so there we are. So now I'm going to press this little machine up here and see what it says down here about the embroidery machine. It says that it's ready for transferring. So I already had set up the Bluetooth in the past, so I'm good to go. Um, I don't know if you can see that, ready for transferring. If it doesn't, then I, if it doesn't say that, then I'll press that button and sometimes if I refresh, but most of the time it's because I've turned on the machine. If I don't, if I'm not connected right away or if I'm having trouble connecting, it's because I turned on the machine and I opened the app and I waited too long to do the connection. So I find that this works out better for me. So I'm pressing the exit button. So the next thing I'm going to do is upload that design. So I'm going to go into my creations. And there's the design that we created. But before I go in there, I also wanted to share that you can delete these old designs since you only get to store 20 for free. Uh, to delete, because I don't need this one anymore. I was just messing around. I'm going to press edit. And I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to press the garbage can down here. And press delete to confirm it. So it's deleting it, and now I'll close that window. So now I'm going to import. Well, I'm not importing external files, but this is where you would go if you sent the file to yourself. And I'm going to do a separate video for that, but this is the screen we would come to if we wanted to import a third-party design. But for this case, I'm using an Art Spira design that was free on the app. And so I added the words Merry Christmas, like you saw. And I'm going to select that one because we saved it. I don't want to make any more changes to it, so I don't have to use these buttons down here. So I'm just going to press Done. So now we're going to work on transferring it. The design should show here and it should transfer press the accept button so on the machine that's the screen button and the machine initializes and the little arm of the embroidery area moves so then I'll go back to close this screen and then I'll transfer. And this is where it starts giving you those reminders. Have you prepared your bobbin? I think I have enough in there to, to do another Santa. So it's sending the data while it's giving you that first screen. As you can see. And you can watch the video if you want to. I'm sure they've got, I know they've got lots of great videos out at their website. If you ever get stuck there's a, a link that I think says troubleshooting or something like that and if you press that it'll take you to a bunch of videos they have but this is this is a little bit of a shortcut because I'm putting it all in one maybe hopefully it's a shortcut then I'll press the next button and I'm wondering if I can press done and bypass the screen yes so I already know about setting the thread up I already know about preparing the bobbin so I just I, I bypassed it and I, all those videos and I just pressed done. So now I'm going to do a trial run, but it's probably going to tell me, it's telling me to press that accept button again. But it's also, yeah, it's also telling me to attach the frame. I was wondering when it would tell me that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's shine the light back down here because there is no light on the sketch and you just line it up with the grooves back there and push it in it's hard for me to show you that here whoops i think i can't see because the camera's in the way there it's really easy to slide in i just was I'm sitting at a very weird angle so now if i get this app back here i can it's telling me press the accept button so it's doing the trial run now and i have a big x on there because i wanted everybody to see i heard something snap but the hoop is in there good so i'm going to press ok because it did the trial run and there we go so that's telling me 
The embroidery time is 28 minutes. The stitch is 10,290, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six colors because I added words. So last time I did this one, I did it uh, as a test on this baby t-shirt. And I didn't have another baby t-shirt, and I didn't want to put it on these other two. This is from the test that I did between my baby lock and this machine, and it did a really good job. It takes longer, but it did a great job. And since, um, since we are, I'm trying to answer some of the questions that came up after I created that last video. So I thought, um, this, I used Floriani thread on this one, like I said earlier in the video. And so this one is where I'm going to be using some old, let's see what happens when I use some old sulky thread. And this is Gitterman. So... We'll see what happens because I have not used these yet. I've already got the first color threaded. So I'm going to move over. And even though I don't have t-shirt, little baby t-shirt material um, for this test, I used, I'm using a black youth t-shirt and it's hooped with the same stabilizer. It's a little bit different, but it's hooped with the same stabilizer. And I'll tell you what that is after we get going, since it takes 28 minutes. Okay, I have actually saved everyone some time and stitched out the pattern. And um, I am just finishing up with the words now, so I'll finish telling you about this uh, challenge, this part of the challenge, as we stitch. So I got it all threaded. Let's see how this goes. I've never done letters on the, this machine, so we're going to see how it, it does the letters. It's not that great, to tell you the truth. But it's stitching out Merry Christmas, and it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's trimming the jump threads. Um, it's not really doing like a satin stitch, but it's kind of hard to tell with the water soluble stabilizer on there, which is something I was going to tell you in the last video. Um, the stabilizer is the same as what I used on here, which is pretty much the same. On the bottom, there's fusible, no show mesh, a little bit heavier weight because it's a t shirt. But not that different than the, this baby one. And then um, a tear away in the back of that. And then on top, water soluble stabilizer. I can see that the tension is off. Um, it could be, like I said, maybe it's looking like the white's coming through. But I, it might just be this water soluble. So it really depends on the front. And, and before you stitch out on a t-shirt or whatever you're working on you could stitch it on on a trial piece of paper i just wanted to see how this looked since i was doing the vid and i think some people were asking about the fonts in some of the comments that i was reading in other areas where this machine is sold so i just thought i would see if i could put one on here and yes i could but it's this, this font is really not comparable to my baby lock. But I, I guess I can't say anything bad about it because I haven't tried any other fonts. And I don't know which ones are free or which one's better at this point. So if you know which ones are, are good and they're free, let us know. But I also remember when I was doing my research, reading that you don't get too many fonts with the free part of Arts Bureau. So uh, when I'm done, I'll take off all the stabilizer and see how everything looks. And then we'll compare the t-shirt, this t-shirt to this, this baby t-shirt. I know that the texture of the t-shirt's not the same, but it's all I had to do for the comparison. 
So I think in this video, when I piece all the parts of the video together, we will have gone through how to create a free embroidery design in Artsphere with words and save it to the app. How to delete designs that are not needed from, you know, you only get 20 to store, so you have to kind of keep your watching, keep watch over uh, which ones you want to keep in there and which ones you want to get rid of so you can continue to save if that's what you want to do. So, and this challenge was about just to uh, go over again. I had used Floriani thread in on this t-shirt and now I'm using some old sulky that's been protected from light and dust and everything and when I stitched out the other parts of this t-shirt you know what I did have some thread breakage but I think it was a user error because I was trying to film and I was not sitting properly or in the right at the right angle for threading so I think, like I said, I think I said this in my first video, it, you have to make sure, I, well, I made sure like I was really standing up and threading through this right side of the machine, through all of the thread guides, one through five, and then over to the center when I was doing the front, and then you can just lean over and use the needle or the threader. So uh, it could have been me. So I think we are done. I'll just double check. Yeah, it doesn't say done, but it, I know that it's that's all there is to the design. So, um, I guess if you had it, wanted to do another T-shirt, you could just press go again. So let me back up. So this is the T-shirt, and I'll just take off the cover. I'm going to rip off the water-soluble stabilizer. I like to use that with all of my... any kind of knit. I know a lot of people just use it for towels, but I've had really good results using it on knit fabrics because I like how it prevents the... Um, So I think it did a really good job once again. Maybe I can wipe off some of this. One second. I'm going to just get a little water. So I probably should have used a different color for the boots because Santa's boots are black and it's black boots on top of the black sweatshirt is probably not a very good idea. And now I'm going to put a little more water on there because I can get rid of that water soluble on the letters. When you spray water on it, it disappears. It wipes off. So here's, and I probably should rip off the stabilizer in the back, the tearaway, because that'll make a difference in how it looks. I have to cut away the fusible iron-on. So yeah, there's still some water soluble in the letters. So let's get rid of that. It's very, 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 very faint. But it's cute still. I mean, I think someone could probably wear this. It looks like there's some jump stitches in there that need to be trimmed. So I'm trimming those. But as you can see, this isn't the best font. And I did not do trial and error. Sorry if you can't see me trimming, but it's if I don't hold it a little lower, then I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not doing the trimming the jump stitches between the letters. And what I could do 
because it looks like the tension was a little off. Is I could use my red permanent marker and color the white threads red, and then that would look better. But as far as the Santa stitch out goes, if we compare these two, yeah, this is using the Floriani thread. That's a really wonderful thread. And then this is the Sulky. I think it's very comparable. I think this one might be a t tad bit shinier. No, this one actually looks shinier. And that's the Sulky. But I like both of them. I think it did a nice job on both of them. And here I can see on Santa's nose, it went a little bit out. So I might color that black just to make it look better. But that's why I just keep a set of permanent markers nearby because sometimes, you know, just one little thing can be off and you think you've done the same routine, the same fabric, and then something hiccups and, you know, you got to have a way to fix it because this is a great t-shirt. It just needs a little bit of TLC. Whereas this one just really showed up. It's like there's, it's perfection. And I don't know, I don't think that had to do with the thread. I think it has to do with what I used to stabilize it. It's like you have to, if you can just hit stabilizing right on, um, everything just looks great. Uh, this one, maybe I overstabilized it. It could be because it does look a little puffy. And I used, uh, I probably should have used um, not a medium weight tear away. I probably should have done a light one. So, but you live and learn and you experiment. And that's all I have for you today. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. And I think the next one I'll try to work on is just showing people how I t took a third party item um, design that I purchased uh, on my laptop and say you know send it to myself through email and then how i actually saved it to my phone or my tablet which you can do either or and then imported it into the art spirit app and then transferred it into the brother sketch so uh we'll see i'll try to get to that soon but this is all i got for you today thanks for watching if you like what i'm doing give the video a like share and make a comment. Let me know what you're doing with the sketch. Thank you. Bye-bye.